It's been nearly 10 months since Japan's devastating tsunami, and much of the debris from that disaster, of course, ended up out in the ocean in the Pacific, where ocean currents have been driving some of it toward the U.S. Now some experts believe it's starting to wash up on the West Coast. His national correspondent, Lee Callum, reports. The scale of the tsunami damage was epic. Millions of tons of debris littered the Japanese landscape, but also littered the ocean. Entire homes, cars, boats, the fabric of people's lives washed out to sea last March. No one knows exactly how much, but what scientists do know is that the prevailing winds and currents may carry some of that debris to the west coast of the United States. We're at the beginning of the beginning. Oceanographer Kurt Ebesmeyer says that the first wave is already here. Mostly Japanese fishing buoys washed ashore between Oregon and Alaska. The rest, he says, remains in a huge floating debris field. Beachcombers? say they're surprised. I thought it was going to be months before it even hit Hawaii. Some scientists, though, are skeptical, saying there is indeed floating wreckage from Japan, but Noah says we can find no evidence that it's in a massive clump headed our way. It's not that they doubt debris is washing ashore, but proving it's connected to the tsunami is difficult at best. Marine debris is a problem that's already been impacting the world's oceans for years and will continue to do so. So the tsunami added a uh, potentially significant amount of debris to that problem, but fingerprinting it back is challenging. Scientists do agree on one thing. The non-decomposing materials like plastic, the tsunami dragged out to sea, probably wander the oceans for years. An ever-present reminder of the power of nature. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Los Angeles. And joining us now is oceanographer Kurt Ebsmeyer, who you'll just see, who you just saw in Lee's report, he's been tracking Pacific Ocean currents and debris for the last 16 years. In the last three months, he's gotten reports of at least 18 buoys washing up in Alaska, Oregon, and Washington State. Sir, good to have you with us this morning. Uh, those those buoys that were reported to you, did they come from Japan? Yes, we have uh, we have reports. Uh, we've sent the reports to Japan, and oyster farmers have positively identified their buoys. So. We know that uh, quite a few of them are from oyster farms. Kurt, besides the buoys, what other things are, are washing up uh, on shore and whereabouts exactly? They are fishing buoys of various types, uh, three different types, styrofoam, black plastic, and orange football shaped. And they're washing up from Kodiak uh, all the way south to Oregon pretty much at the same time. They began washing up three months ago at the end of September. Put this in perspective for us, though. There is a lot of stuff, not just in the Pacific Ocean, but, but in waters all around the world that gets carried around the globe by these currents. Um, so I would imagine that you'd be, you had been expecting this. Yes. Uh, what, the debris that goes out in the ocean, it, it, some of it sticks up high in the water, above the water, and the winds catch it and sail it across the water like a party balloon on the lake. And what happens is the, the stuff that sticks out of the water uh, blows at about 20 to 30 miles per day, whereas the uh, low windage stuff, the stuff that hunkers down in the water, only goes at 7. So uh, the thing to remember is that the, the debris has lots of different speeds. Can I just ask about some of the markings on the, on the buoys that you were able to determine that they were actually a result from the tsunami? Yes, go ahead. Well, no, it, was it the fact that was it that obvious when, the, when these buoys came? I mean, are there, are there Japanese markings on them that we know we know for sure that these are, are actual a, re, a result from the tsunami in Japan? Well, that's a good question, Chris. Uh, the, it's hard to tell what is tsunami debris, and when we started seeing these big black buoys washing up, I didn't know what they were, and I worked with Kyoto News, which is the Associated Press of, Jap of Japan. And I sent pictures o over to Kyoto, and they uh, in turn contacted uh, the fisheries people who were devastated by the uh, tsunami. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, yeah, those came from our oyster, um, our mm -hmm. oyster farms. And the point is that, yeah, we've been seeing these buoys sporadically for years, but we've never seen them arrive in such numbers mm -hmm. all at one time. So that's the change. Real quickly before we let you go, and we only have about 15 seconds, is there any cause for concern in terms of radiation? Uh, no, I think it's a matter of prudence. Uh, we've tested the air for radioactivity from Fukushima. I think we just need to test the water. Dr. Kurt Ebesmeyer, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.